This is the new Axa P400. It's a mini short throw projector that features native 1080p resolution, a built-in battery with up to two hours of runtime, a number of different inputs around the projector, built-in speakers that get pretty loud, the ability to cast a huge 100-inch image from a short distance away, and all this comes in a projector that is literally smaller than a bag of popcorn. Seriously, here's the P400, and here's a bag of popcorn. This projector is impressively small. For scale, here's the projector next to my iPhone 13 Pro, where you see a big difference as next to my BenQ X3000i 4K projector. You could probably fit like 20 P400 inside the shell of the X3000i, but I wouldn't rule this little thing out based on its size. The P400 is a highly capable projector that I've been using quite a bit lately to game on my Switch and hang out and watch movies. The marquee feature here is that this is a short throw projector, so you don't have to place it far away from your wall or screen to get a 100 inch or larger image. We'll talk more about angling the P400, setting it up, and some struggles I had in a bit. This thing can be a little tricky. Around the projector, the P400 has an HDMI port, a USB-A port, a micro SD card slot, a port for the power adapter, an on-off switch, and a focus ring. Operating the P400 is very simple and straightforward. Basically, all you need to do is charge it up, power it on, and plug in the device that you want to use. The P400 has touch controls on the top to navigate around the menu system, but it also comes with a remote that lets you do the same things from a distance. What's nice is that this projector has software built in, so you can easily view your files straight off a thumb drive or a micro SD card. It works well, and it's easy to navigate around. However, I can't help but say that it feels like a version of Windows 98. That's not a bad thing since it works well, but it does seem a bit dated. One big annoyance that I discovered when setting the P400 up, this is what I was alluding to before, is that there is no keystone adjustment built in. There are two keystone buttons on the included remote, but unfortunately they don't work, so angling this little projector can be a bit tricky. It needs to be exactly leveled with your wall or with your screen. Because of this, I would recommend getting a good tripod with a ball head alongside this projector so you have more flexibility to fix this thing into place and get that perfect alignment. I added a quick release plate to the bottom of the projector so I can easily mount and dismount it from my different tripod heads. I wouldn't say the lack of keystone is a deal breaker by any means, it's just something worth noting. As far as image quality goes, this is where the P400 starts to shine, no pun intended. The image out of this thing looks surprisingly good. You're not going to be getting the deep blacks or bright whites like you would on a higher end projector, but for what it is, I think it's pretty nice for such a small device. The P400 has a native resolution of 1080p with 400 lumens of brightness max behind it. So for casual use, this is a good little projector. Even on its max brightness though, this thing can be a little tough to see in brighter environments. So this thing is definitely better suited for use in darker rooms or outdoors at night. I also noticed that battery life varies depending on what setting you have the brightness on. Eco, which is the lowest, will get you near that two hours of use mark, but cranking it up to max makes runtime on the battery around an hour or so. So do keep that in mind if you decide to start watching a show or a movie. What's nice though is that you don't have to worry about replacing bulbs or anything like that since this is a solid state projector. All things considered, the image quality here is quite nice overall. So far, I've used it with my Nintendo Switch, Amazon Fire Stick, 4K Max, and Apple TV, and the experience has been great. It's nowhere near as good as the larger projectors out there that I'm used to playing games on, but the intended use of mini projectors like this is much different. The P400 isn't going to be a projector to build your home theater around. I mean, I guess it could be a good starting point, but this thing is definitely better suited for casual movie watching outside by a fire pit, gaming in the dark with your friends, presenting projects at work, and things like that. Since this is a short throw projector, the closer you put this thing to the wall or screen, the better it's going to look. Just a little tip. Next, let's talk about sound quality. The P400 has built-in speakers that get pretty loud and sound surprisingly good. No matter if I have the volume at 50% or 100%, the sound quality is clear, punchy with the bass, and sounds decent overall. If you want, you can also use a pair of external speakers with this projector since it has that 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but I don't think you'll be needing them in most cases. Here's a quick little sample of how the P400 sounds with the volume cranked all the way up while playing some Mario Kart 64. To start closing this video out, I really like the AXA P400. It's a neat little projector with great image quality, clear sound, solid battery life, and has an incredibly small footprint. If you can look past the lack of built-in keystone and dated Windows 98 menu system, this little projector is pretty awesome for watching your favorite shows or movies or playing your favorite games anytime, anywhere on a big screen. 
So that's about all I got for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Ray Strassis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace!